Good morning everyone from Playa del Carmen, Mexico and welcome back to a new travel vlog! Hey. Hey. <laughs> Today we are going to visit Cenote Cristelano. This is said by all our friends here to be one of the most crystal clear cenotes for scuba diving and free diving. In this vlog we have also partnered up with Cali Case. This company has super awesome underwater protective cases for your phones and we're gonna test it out in the cenote. It's gonna be awesome! Stick along for the end of this vlog if you want to know more about that. All right, so our day starts as we're walking to Chedrawi. We need to withdraw some money for the Sinata entrance and for the taxi that we're gonna catch. So this Sinata is located in between Tulum and Playa del Carmen. So regardless of where you're living, it should be about a 20 minute taxi drive. We'll also do a breakdown of all the costs and everything you need to know if you're coming here to Playa and you want to do the Sinata we're going to. We've been living in Mexico for three months now and it's been awesome. We're getting to know the culture, the people, and really what it's like to live here in Mexico. If you guys are interested in other places in Mexico that you can visit, I have a complete playlist with a lot of awesome videos from all over the place. We even went to visit the other side of Mexico called Nairi. Yeah! Lunch at McDonald's for 190 pesos. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> we only eat fast food once in a while. Yeah. This time because we're in a hurry. And I'm here. Which is nice. Okay, time for the big question. How much does it cost? Okay guys, we found ourselves a taxi. It's gonna be 300 pesos. So that drive, 70 minutes to Cenota Cristalino. We are inside guys, Yeah. 400 pesos total. 200 pesos per person, that's a foreigner's rate. And they even have a free use of life jacket because usually when you go to Cenotes, the life jacket, snorkeling mask is not included. And we also brought our own Woo! masks. We have our yeah, own masks. Yeah, we have our own masks. Which we, we brought. Got it from Walmart and I think it's 300 Mexican pesos. So if you want to go around different cenotes, I highly recommend for you guys to bring your own snorkeling mask because every time you go in a cenote, it's like 70 to 150 Mexican pesos to rent out. Plus, you know, it's safer to use your own mask. This cenote is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you're a local Mexican, it's also cheaper for you. I think it's 150 pesos. You'll save 50 pesos then. There are three different parts to the cenote. This is our first time here and we're very excited to just jump in and check it out. Okay, here's one of them. Pretty cool, huh? We keep exploring. <laughs> yeah. Mangroves is something that Ava also has in her country, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. It's nice to prevent tsunami. Rent snorkels, buy fruits, rent a locker room, or go to the restaurant. Okay, here's the big, the big spot. So nice, and here's a little restaurant. Woo. You can jump there. From yeah, there's a platform you can jump from. That makes me very happy. There's even a swing. A cave. Water swing. Nice. We have a visitor! Okay guys, we made it to Cenote Cristalino. Super crystal clear waters, can't wait to jump in. But before we do that, we're going to talk about today's collaboration. With Caliques! Caliques! <laughs> These are awesome on the water protective cases for your phone. And now we're gonna highlight a couple of things to why these are so awesome. The world we're living in today, everybody has their phone with them at all times. It's really important we're one of these now because salt water and you know constantly exposure to water, even though some of today's phones are waterproof 
will definitely destroy them over time. We actually thought it would be really fun because we usually shoot everything on action cameras on the water. So today we thought it would be really fun to try to shoot the majority of this vlog in Cali cases with our phones. I'm excited to jump in there. We've been uh, visiting a couple of cenotes around Mexico. This is our first time here at Cenote Cristalino. It's said to be the most crystal clear one. That is why it's called Cristalino. Cristalino, guys. Get that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anything else? They also come in vibrant, colorful yeah, colors. Different colors. Um, I have the blue one. I have the white it has one. a double seal. As you can see, it seals here and here. Just simply lock this one and this one it's like a you know like a zip lock yeah like a zip lock bag and what's nice is that this floats this is buoyant which is not so typical every time i buy this one i'm always afraid to lose it yeah this thing also glows in the dark which is super awesome here because there's caves so we're going to try to go in there and see if it actually goes in the dark yeah. which means it's easier to find and since we moved to Mexico we actually been experiencing that we're shooting a lot of the content that we do on our phones yeah. this is our first time trying to shoot on the water with our phones to see if it works and try to compare it to some action cam footage I think it's gonna be awesome it's also a very inexpensive ways for people that travel and wants to go to places you know you already have your expensive phone why spend another thousand dollar on an action camera when you can get something as awesome as this jump in there and get the underwater footage and this is also heat transferring plastic guys you can still use your phone while it's inside the case and that's very important because we're gonna be uh, dealing with all these settings See, and stuff I'm already recording she's it's already so on it this also comes in Universal and XL, so depending on the phone you have, they will fit your phone. For those of you who are shooting on your phones, I wanted to share a little trick that me and Ava recently discovered our iPhone has. We wasn't really aware of this, and hopefully we can help some of you guys. Guys, so before you're gonna shoot, make sure that up here, you can click 4K and you can click 60 frames a second. Now you're actually gonna have a lot better image than if you were shooting on the regular settings which are HD and 30 frames. So just clicking on those two buttons will give you a lot better quality. Let's jump in there and let's put this to the test.
like we've been spending about two hours here now it's getting really crowded it was actually so many people at the end that we kind of struggling on getting shots but we did manage to put the Kali case to the test it's a really great surface uh, camera I would say we were getting a lot of good stuff it floats I actually lost it at one occasion and I just found it floating on the surface so that was really nice and you know it's cool to have the opportunity to just put it in on your neck swim out there not really worrying about your phone and when you get to a cool location you just pull it up and shoot some cool in vertical or vlog footage how about you Ave what did you think about this cenote and the whole experience well I think this cenote is definitely crowded but it's yeah. beautiful um, I think the reason why it's crowded is because it's right in the middle of Tulum and Playa del Carmen yeah. where tourists can easily come here they spend a whole day cenote hopping which is why now we should leave cenote cristalino and go to the plama the plama playa <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah, we've been spending we're using so much energy so we don't really yeah. know how to talk right now we're gonna head into Playa del Carmen we're gonna go to the beach and I think it's a really good usage to have one of these on the beach too we're swimming around and you don't really have to worry about it let's go, let's go. Let's Vamos. after two hours we are leaving Cenota Cristalino beautiful Cenota but don't do what we did we came way too late they open at 8 a.m. and I think the best time to visit this place is between 8 to 10 a.m. after that there's people from both Tulum and Playa del Carmen just streaming to this cenote and it's, it's, uh, it's not really big so it's gonna get very very crowded. I would however say that this cenote really lived up to its expectations with the crystal clear beautiful water. Some of the shots we managed to capture on the water there was just beautiful and it got us hungry for more. So we're gonna go into Playa del Carmen to the beach and try to check out the conditions there today. <laughs> okay so we took a taxi here this morning and going back now to the highway to try to hitchhike our way back home we're not sure if that's even possible to do we do however have a whatsapp group of taxis in Playa del Carmen if you're not aware about that number this is the number you can contact them and they will basically come and pick you up wherever you are we're, we're kind of gambling on this right now that we will be able to find an empty taxi on the highway we're about 20 minutes away from Playa del Carmen so I'm not sure if that's even possible to do what I really love about Mexico is that you can wake up in the morning, go to a cenote like we did and still have time when you're done to go to the beach, which we're going to do right now. Two hours later. Starbucks. The Yush. The Yush. Caramel Frappuccino with almond milk, whipped cream and extra caramel syrup. <laughs> and we're sharing one. Because okay. I'm lactose intolerant but I still drink it. <laughs> you know what they say in Filipino? What? Which means uh, all good things is good. <laughs> all, all bad things is good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a very Filipino mentality. If someone like shits on you, it's like, oh, that's a blessing. <laughs> Actually. Because uh, one time we were walking in Pasay, my hood. Um, and I stepped, stepped on dog shit. <laughs> and and it's what? like, oh, don't worry about it. It's a blessing. Yeah, You'll get lucky. Yeah. Oh, you're so lucky, Martin, for yeah. stepping in dog shit. And I've always been taught that way. Like, it's lucky that if a bird poops on you or if you step on a dog shit. <laughs> I don't know why. Why yeah. is it like that? I appreciate it. Way to yeah. turn things around, right? <laughs> 24 hours later. You guys, we have made it into downtown Playa del Carmen. This is one, one of the most bougie hotels are located by the beach. So we figured, hey, let's go and show you guys a really cool beach club. We're gonna try to find one. We haven't really been in this area of Playa del Carmen before, but it's a lot more bougie than where we're living on the other side. I think apartments here are probably a little bit more expensive too. There's a lot of nice restaurants around this area and we are filming a food trip tour which I'm gonna release on this channel a little bit later this month. So stay tuned for that video. Are you ready for the beach? Yes, I am so full. We just had a very good desayuno. Ooh. Breakfast. Wow. Frutos. Yeah. In very Tagano. good. Very good. You know, we've been working really hard lately. We've been launching a couple of different things on Avis Bikini brand. So we need to just chill, lay on a sun tanning yeah, bed. My head is hurting actually from all of the working, especially uh, if you're working on the computer and cell phone. Yeah. Like, you get dizzy. But what's so nice about Playa del Carmen is that it's a big city right on the beach. So three minutes to the left, we're gonna find one of the most pristine beaches like sand that can be compared to Boracay in the Philippines. 
okay? I know some of you might not believe that, but we're gonna show it to you. Stay tuned. I'm so excited that I've been noticing some more Norwegian viewers on this YouTube channel. And check out this restaurant right here. It's like Gran Canaria one on one. As a Norwegian, I've been traveling to the islands of Spain a lot in my youth. Gran Canarian islands. So when I came to Mexico, I was kind of, I wasn't that surprised. It pretty much looks the same, feels the same as you would be on a vacation in Spain. And so far we've been really safe here. And it's just so cool to be in Mexico. Okay guys, we really want to check out this beach club, which is called Mamitas Beach Club, right on the beach in Playa del Carmen. We made it inside, check it out. So for 2,000 pesos, we get 1,700 consumable, two beach chairs, and we get access to the beach right here, which, look at this, huh? Amazing. We're gonna jump in there very soon. First pina colada down, and it's time to go for a swim. Don't you think? Yes, let's swim. Let's swim. So nice guys, just swim there. The water is actually perfect temperature when it comes to cooling off. It's not like super hot, not super cold, just right. However, the thing I have noticed here in Playa del Carmen is that there's constantly a lot of wind coming in. So you get these natural windy waves, which can make it a little bit hard to swim. Uh, for example, when we took a road trip to Mahahual to visit the beaches there, there's a reef further out which protects us from these waves, so it's a lot easier to swim there. Pretty nice to just jump in there, enjoy the waves anyway. And to really put that Cali case to the test, I think it's something that's perfect for people that are beach goers, that are constantly on an adventure and just want to protect their phones. And it's really cool to see that it, it actually works. Like the footage looks pretty good. So yeah, good job guys at Cali case for making a good product. We're just gonna lounge the rest of the day here now. Ava is making a vlog about this experience because it's Cinco de Mayo today, 5th of May. In Norway, we have 17th of May, which is our National Independence Day. And here, Cinco de Mayo is a big celebration for a lot of Mexican people that have moved out of Mexico. So it's actually bigger abroad than it is in Mexico itself. But we feel like there's a little need in us to celebrate this day. So we're here at the beach club, waiting for a DJ to start playing. If you guys are interested in more of what's gonna happen today on Cinco de Mayo, the whole celebration, what we're gonna do, head over to Ava's channel. <laughs> I got you. She got you, you know? She's making a little fun vlog from today, so yeah. It's all good, all good vibes. Hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog where we visited Cenote Cristalino, visited the beach, just had a good time. I just wanna thank you all for watching this video and we will see you guys on the next. Travel vlog. Uh, bye bye.